Hello everyone, it's Miros and today I have a surprise for all Huawei fans in the world and especially the global ones. This is Huawei P60 Pro using EMUI 13.1 and today we will install native Google services on it. Let's start! Okay guys, this is my Huawei P60 Pro. I will just go in settings and show you that this is a global version. You can see that the model is MNA LX9 which is uh, the global version of Huawei P60 Pro and also you can see that I am using a software version of EMUI 13.1 so today's video and today's method will work for EMUI version 13.1 keep in mind that and I think the only devices supported uh, for now are Huawei P60 Pro and Huawei Mate X3 but probably as updates are coming Every Huawei device or at least the newer will receive that update and they can install native Google services. Ok guys, let's start the process by going browser and to the following website microg.org Always go there. Not any else site, just this microg.org and here is the place to thank to these guys from microg project. Thank you guys for doing uh, everything for us and make Google services available for our Huawei devices. And also here is the place to thank to Eloy Gomez TV. Link to his channel will be in video description. The idea for that video is coming from his channel. So thanks mate. Again, his channel is in Spanish. So if you are interested, go there and check his video. Now, when we are here at the microg.org website, just tap here on the sandwich menu and select download. When you select download, scroll down and find here the apps that we need. We have here direct uh, downloads and here we have uh, services framework proxy. That's what we need. Just hit download. Allow it and I will install later. Just cancel it. Now swipe up and download these two versions com.google.android.gmshw which stands for Huawei now hit download and I will install them later and also we need to download that com.android.vending-hw which again stands for Huawei just download it and now when we download these three files, services framework proxy and these two here, we need to go in files and find where we just download uh, that files. And let's start installing them one by one. First hit the services and install them of course. Install the second one. hit done and install the last one and done again now guys when we install them we need to go in settings apps and services apps and search for micro g here are the apps and from here we need to open that micro g services but first let me show you something if you are using android emui 12 version you will receive here an icon for micro g but we miss that here and that means it's implemented like a system application and means it will work if you see it here probably it won't work but let me know down in the comments if it's uh, working for you or not now tap on micro g services and tap here on the settings icon on the upper right corner now we can see we have a safety net on, we have a cloud messaging and that means all the applications will uh, came from here and they will start to receive push notifications. This is very important. You will see later when I install uh, different applications. Now when we are ready, the tap here on self check and guys you need to enable and mark all these checks. Of course, you can check uh, microg and their open source project in their website. Everything is there. You can check uh, the links because we are speaking for many years. Is that safe or it's not safe? Everything is on their website and you can check every list and every policy there. So permissions to access approximate location just up here. 
precise location, change to precise, Hello, all the time, this is important for applications such as Google Maps, allow it to read uh, memory card, uh, again, keep in mind guys, when you tap here, you need to tap on the left side, because if you tap here, nothing will happen, probably, these are because of different resolutions, but uh, tap somewhere, it will start work. Draw over the apps, we need to update that too. Find uh, micro G and give it the permission to draw over the apps. Now go back and we have everything enabled. And that's the way to make micro G work and our native Google services. So when you are ready here, you need to add an account. Tap here, sign in. And of course, enter your account, your password, of course, and just agree. And now we have added account in our settings. Let's go and check. Let's go back. Now just scroll down, user and account, and you can see we have a Google account here. Just tap on it and hit that legacy settings that's important remember it when you tap it enable that option allow apps to find accounts that is important because for example if you install youtube this setting need to be enabled because youtube will synchronize your account or if you install chrome and so on so enable that option and when you are ready here with that option what we need to do we need a Google applications and how we can do this by go and download Aurora store because Play Store won't work but we'll install third party store which is a fork of uh, Google Play Store and that is Aurora store. What is the website is Aurora OSS and search for it in Google. And here is the website Aurora o ss.com tap on it now we need to scroll down and you can see here the download page here we have the fdroid that's what we need just hit the link for fdroid here it is and scroll down again until you can see that download apk now hit on download apk and you can see we need to confirm the download so now it's downloaded and we need to install it of course now it's done we already installed it and here we have now aurora store let's open it hit next session installer is what we need system here you can select a team and now give permissions to these options enable that and unverified links hit up and select market and play google market is ready go back and now they are enabled hit next installer permission and external storage manager of course we will need that permissions so we can give permissions to aurora store to install applications on our device because it will work as google play store now they are granted, let's tap finish and here we have different options. We have, uh, you can log, it, uh, log in with your Google account, anonymous or anonymous insecure. I will log using my Google account, this is a personal preference, but I will log using my Google account. And now it is ready, Aurora store is ready. Here we have something very important. When it's ready and installed, you need to hit here on the down right corner where it's written updates. Just hit here and you will see that we have an applications for update and Google Play services is one of them. But because we are using micro G Play services, we need to disable the update for this Google Play services because if it's uh, auto update, probably our native services will crash. That's why we'll need just to stop the update here how to do this by holding on a 
Google Play services and a menu pop-up is here and we need to add it to blacklist. When we add it to blacklist, that means it won't update Google Play services here. These two Swift keyboard or other applications, you can update them, but Play services you need to skip. And here, the last important step is search for Android system web view. I will just write web view and this is Android system web view. This is something important. To make all of the Google applications work correctly, we need to install that Android system web view. Hit install it. Now it's ready, let's just install it. You don't need to open it, just install it so other applications, Google applications can communicate. Now it's time for a test. What we need to download? We need to use G Drive. Here it is. Let's install it. Let's install one more application like YouTube. Hit install for YouTube. You can see it is straightforward process and very easy. Just uh, select your applications, hit install and that's everything. Let's install also uh, Gmail. Let's uh, find out it's working or not because uh, with Gspace and uh, Gbox, it, uh, Chrome always makes a problem. That's why we need to install it and test it. And I think we are ready for now. Now it's time to open Chrome. And you can see my account is already added. Continue. Yes, I'm in. Now it starts syncing my uh, history. And you can see what happened with YouTube. My account is here and it's working. I can play a video. This is one of my videos. Here is the sound comparison and YouTube is just working. What we need to try a drive. Drive always makes a problems, but here you can see it is just working. My account is here. My files are here and let's try with Gmail. and gmail is also working and i already have a notification from gmail let's go in settings apps and services apps and find for micro g micro g services hit here and cloud messaging you can see the applications are just added here and i will start to receive push notifications for these apps for now they are Chrome, Drive, Gmail and YouTube, but if I install more applications from Aurora store or uh, somewhere else, they will connect with my Google account and they will start to receive notifications, push notifications. Let's check also for maps, is it working or not. For maps to work better, my advice is just hold finger here on the app and for location, just tap and give it the permission to use the location all the time. Other way, maps won't work correctly. So just give it permissions to use the location all the time. And you can see it start locating me now perfectly. And that's it guys. We already installed the native Google services on our Huawei P60 Pro. For now, this method with Micro G, thanks to these guys again, is working only for EMUI 13.1, but as more Huawei devices are updated, of course, they will start support more devices. And that was for today. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. If uh, some applications are working for you, some are not working, just let me know again down in the comments. And don't forget, if this video helps you somehow, subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.